Good morning, Mel High School. Happy Monday. Dr. Foster coming to you with Bulldog E! News for the week of September 19th. Hope you've had a great weekend. It was very summer-like as we get to the end of the official summer season. But again, hope you had a great weekend. So let me dive in. I uh, want to remind students and families that this week, JCPS continues to be mask optional as Jefferson County, Kentucky remained in the yellow last Thursday. So once again, that's updated every Thursday. And we'll let you know over the weekend for the coming week, but masks will remain optional this week. I've been sharing some important dates to remember over the last few weeks, but I want to point out a couple. This week, September 20th, our first six-week grading period ends. Uh, we'll be getting report cards out to students soon thereafter. And fall break, not this week, but the following week, students will not be in class on Thursday, Friday, and the following Monday. So fall break for us is September 29th through October 3rd want to pass along some and very important reminders for arrival and dismissal each afternoon. I won't read this portion to you, uh, but would ask parents and students to take a look at that. But I am going to scroll down to this image. This is very important. Mr. Graham, our safety administrator, uh, did a nice job putting this together. And I would point out to parents, if you are a car rider dropping off your child in the morning, you should not be entering anywhere with an X. Um, car riders should enter at the Circle K hang a right on Carroll and then a right on Cemetery Lane and our drop off occurs in the lower Gaines parking lot. So again, we move about 2,200 human beings on campus and off campus before school and after school each day. So safety is paramount. So please help us out and make sure you are dropping off and picking up in the correct location. We, we simply wanna keep student drivers, buses and our car rider lines separate and safe as we navigate into the uh, darker and colder months as fall and winter will be here before we know it. Seniors, we're gonna remind you a very close deadline, October 1st, to get your Tux and Drake picture taken care of <clears throat> to make sure that you're in our yearbook. And speaking of yearbook, we've been sharing ordering information. Students don't miss out on that. So deadlines are very close. Uh, one thing I do wanna point out, our, in addition to our counseling newsletter, this is volume seven this week, Male High School will be hosting a college and career fair October 19th, five to seven on campus. A great opportunity for all students to come and visit with colleges, universities, and employers as you start planning what you're going to do beyond high school. Lots of other cool things going on. Uh, I do want to remind our community that we have switched from cash ticketing at all Louisville Male High School athletic events to using the GoFan site. So if you're coming to uh, any athletic contest, you now get your ticket via GoFan. We've been doing this at most places. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Here is our athletics calendar for the week and lots of cool things uh, happened over the weekend. So be sure to check out our student shout outs below. Let's make it a great week in male high school students and parents. We will be doing our first Bulldog Hour on Wednesday. We look forward to that be something very different for our students and our staff. Uh, so it's going to be a busy week, a great week, um, and let's make it a good one. Take care of yourselves. Stay well. We'll see you soon.